Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Fans YouTube channel, and welcome to the Alton Towers Scarefest 2018 information news. Now, I know that I am, I know that I am over two weeks late with this, but as I say, better late than never. Um, once again, I would like to say thank you for your patience in regards to uploads, because in my last video I said that I haven't been uploading much recently. So here is my um, Alton Towers Scarefest 2018 video. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to I'm going to be revealing the information for Scarefest 2018. Now, um, every year in the summer, um, either in July or August, or maybe even as early as June, Alton Towers do release the information for um, Scarefest. Um, now, if you don't know, Scarefest that takes place in usually around and um, usually between mid October, like. Sometimes mid-October or sometimes start-October to usually the end of October or sometimes as far as um, the 1st and 2nd of November. Um, so I'm going to be talking about the scare mazes and um, and the family attractions too. So um, first of all, um, the scare mazes that are returning this year are Subspecies, The End Games, um, Altonville Mine Tools, and um, the welcoming be chosen. Now, Terror of the Towers isn't going to be returning this year. Um, after I think about 15 years of being like the main Scarefest maze, um, ever since Scarefest started way back in 2002, is that 15 years? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 years. Um, so, they have scrapped Tale of the Towers by the look of things, and um, I've always said to you guys, I think Towers should either scrap Tale of the Towers or give it a new storyline, and they've scrapped it. So, in some way, like, I'm kind of happy about it, but it, like, in another way, I'm kind of sad, because Autumn Towers are losing a classic maze, but losing one maze can only mean we're gaining a new maze. That's right. Alton, um, we are gaining a brand new scare maze. And at this moment in time, it's called Project 42. Now, um, we don't know much about Project 42 at this moment in time. All we can pretty much gather is that um, it we, we believe that it's going to be where Nemesis of Terror is. Um, because uh, for the past few weeks now, there's been scaffolding around Nemesis of Terror. There's been a yellow tent um, where the Nemesis of Terror batching area is. Um, and I believe that's where uh, Project 42 is going to be. Now, whether Project 42 is going to be the actual scammer's name, I don't know. What is it going to be themed around? I don't know. But I, I think Autotales will reveal more information about Project 42 Maybe, I'd say either next month or sometime in September, I'd imagine. Um, the House of Monsters is also going to be returning. Um, the Family Scare Maze that's been here, um, I say here, not not on my house. <laughs> um, the House of Monsters that's been at Alton Towers um, since Scarefest 2016. So this will be its third, um, third Scarefest. Um, it's going to be the welcoming second scare fest. Um, it's going to be Autoville Mine Tours third scare fest, and this will be subspecies um, uh, second, fourth scare fest. So this will be in the fourth year of subspecies the end games. Um, it's going to be interesting to see which scare maze I prefer um, because Project Forty Two could be good. Subspecies I expect to still be intense. Autumnville Mine Tools I was pretty disappointed with last year. Um, in its debut year, 2016, I was really impressed with Autumnville Mine Tools. I felt like it, it was really good. It was really intense. And um, for Scarefest 2016, I preferred Autumnville to Subspecies. But last year, um, I preferred Subspecies to Autumnville. So hopefully, I hope both mazes can be on the same level of intenseness. That would be really good. Um, the welcoming be chosen, like, I was kind of impressed with it. It was a good maze, but I felt like it didn't have the scare factor of, um, subspecies or Autumnville Mine Tools. Um, 
But I think it's a good maze, you know, it's got good theming, um, good interaction, the actors are really good and welcoming. Um, but there we go. So, um, also, Scarefest gives you the opportunity to ride the rides in the dog, which includes Wicker Man, and I can't wait to ride Wicker Man in the dog. It's going to be a great experience, and um, it'll be really interesting to see the Wicker Man structure, um, you know, how the Wicker Man structure has flames going out of its shoulders. It'll be really interesting to see that at night time. Um, and also new for this year, um, this thing called Scare Most Fear. Now, I don't know what this is going to be about, but um, I'm trying to... Like, I'm reading this off the Old Tales website. So, the first thing of this Scare, scare Most Fear is Galactica Airways. Um, meet the AI, meet, wait, I, I don't know if it's AI or AL, um, meet the AI, um, cabin crew of Galactica Airways, always at your service whether you like it or not. Now, I'd imagine this would be around Galactica, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see what the Scaremosphere brings. Um, then you've got the Ghost Pirates. This motley crew of pirate wash-ups have followed the sound of the siren all the way to Mutiny Bay. That sounds interesting. Um, the Tower's Gothic ruins are rumoured to be home to a number of supernatural forces. Do you get the feeling someone is watching from the windows? Now, as I said, I don't know what Scaremosphere is going to be about, but I believe there'll be actors roaming around Galactica, as it says here, um, ghost pirates around Mutiny Bay, and... The Tower's Gothic Ruins, so I'd imagine there'd be some actors around the um, ruins as well. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about the um, family stuff, what's coming to Scarefest, because Scarefest, not not only is there scare mazes at Scarefest, but there's also things for the family to do as well. So, um, in previous years, you had um, the Freaky Four, which was um, Franklin, Phil... Franklin, Phil, Patch, and Scalvy. But this year, um, the um, the famous Freaky Four have found a new spectacular Freaky friend, Gretel the Witch. I hope I pronounced that right, Gretel the Witch. Our newest resident will be joining in with all the Halloween fun, with meet and greets, photo opportunities, and more. So now it's going to become the Freaky Five. So that's interesting for the um, children. Um... CBB's Land is going to have a monster ball in the um, Big Fun Showtime Arena. Um, so that'll be interesting for the kids. Um, you've also got the return of the Alton Ancestors and uh, the Freaky Funk Squad. Um, I don't know what that's about, but there we go. That's pretty much it for the um, Scarfers 2018 information. Now, um, what I'm looking forward to the most is probably... Going back in subspecies, the end games, and ultimate reminders, but also experiencing a brand new scare maze, Project 42. Now, um, I want to ask you guys, how do you feel about um, Terror the Towers not being at Scarefest this year? And um, how do you also feel about Project 42? Do leave a comment below. Um, I'll try and read all the comments, and um, I might even reply to you guys um, because I want to interact with you. So do comment below how you feel about Terror of the Towers not being at Scarefest this year and also how you feel, like, what your feelings are about for Project Board 2. So anyway, guys, that that is it for another video. Um, I haven't done a video in my bedroom for ages. Apart from that video I did, um, apart from the video that I uploaded on Friday, um, it's been ages since I've done a video like this. And, yeah, um... So, subscribe if you are new around here. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Um, as I said, comment below how you feel about Terror the Towers not being at Scarefest this year. And also how you feel Project 42 will go. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Project 42 will work. Um, the next video will be the vlog from Fantasyland. I can't wait for that. We're flying out on the Friday, me and my dad. Yes, my dad, he's going to be in the vlog. Um, so we're flying out on a Friday. We're having half a day there on a Friday. I won't be vlogging that. But we're going to be there for the whole day on the Saturday. So I'll vlog the full day. 
which is on the Saturday. Um, and then we've got half a day on the Sunday, which I won't vlog again. And then, and then we've got our flight back on the Sunday. And then um, on the Monday, we're going down to Fort Park. And I'm going to vlog that as well. So it's really crazy. It's crazy. So you guys are getting two vlogs. One from Fantasyland and one from Fort Park. It's going to be great and I can't wait for you guys to drop me. I'm all done you. Thank you for watching Finbox fans. And it's time to close the video down. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.